Hey guys, Stephen Phillips here, back in the garage. Today we're looking at Kurt's Spectrum Brake Controller, and with Kurt we have Brian Farley. Hey, doing Brian? I'm well. How are you, Stephen? I'm doing great. So tell us more about the Spectrum Brake Controller, and how we're going to choose this over all the products on the market today. Okay, so today we're going to look at a Spectrum Brake Control by Kurt, part number five one one seven zero. It's an inertia-based brake controller, mm -hmm. which means it's going to measure the motion of the vehicle. Okay. okay. It senses uphill, downhill, um, basically whatever it needs to do. It's going to take care of for you. That's great. Um, this brake control will be designed because of these smaller, tighter driver compartments. Yeah. Uh, most traditional style brake controllers are going to hit you in the leg now. <laughs> right. Um, so this one mounts up on the dash, mm -hmm. anywhere within reach of the driver. And I will say I like this because with the late model trucks, the cab and the interior in general is getting more sleek. And you want something that's going to be sleek and kind of out of the way, and this does just that. And we do have two mounting options, is that right? We have the drill and the adhesive? That is correct. We do have, we do offer an adhesive backed base for this system that will allow you, especially the guys that are leasing vehicles, yeah, a true. three to a five year lease, put on there temporarily, uh, route the wire down the trim, looks real sweet and finished. And the screw, which is a drill application, you will drill two holes, one for the wire, one yeah. for the mounting screw, which is kind of permanent, but yeah. it looks very, very nice, very right. finished. That's what we're looking for. Absolutely. <laughs> So beyond that, tell us more about the, the brains here. What does this do? Okay, this is your, your control center of the brake controller. And this is a triple axis accelerometer. Okay. It does measure X, Y, and Z. It measures motion in the vehicle, okay? Mm -hmm. So to mount this, you need to mount this firmly or securely right. anywhere up under the dash. It can mount right side up, upside yep. down, but it cannot be left, left dangling. Okay, fair enough. Now, what does that triple axis accelerometer help us to do? Does that help us to control the grade? I mean, what is, what is the real idea behind that? What it does is, is it, amount, it, it senses the amount of motion in a vehicle. Okay. So if you're going down a hill, it will add more brake to going down. Gotcha. That if you're sense. going up a hill, you don't need that amount of brake, okay. it will back that off. Okay. So before we get into the in-action shots of this product, what kind of warranty do you offer? Okay, we offer a limited lifetime okay. warranty on this product. Um, this brake controller also is compatible with uh, electric over hydraulic brakes okay. and will also handle up to four axes. Great. Or eight brakes total. And I know one great thing about this system is that Kurt does offer an adapter. So if you're jumping from a competitor's product, we'll say, this will plug right into that existing adapter that you have with that nice adapter from Kurt. Is that right? That is correct. If, if you do have an individual that had bought an aftermarket system right. a few years ago and is now looking to do an upgrade or, mm -hmm. you know, um, a little more user friendly. Yes. Uh, we do have an adapter for that. Perfect. Now let's get into the modes. So there are four modes. The yes. first one is brightness, which just controls the, the brightness of the LEDs on the dial. That is correct. But we also have sensitivity. So tell us why we want to control sensitivity. That's going to be based on what you have for cargo in your trailer. Okay. Okay. If you're hauling horses or livestock, um, you're going to want to want to ease on the brake kind yeah. of deal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely use a, a little more sensitive mode. Okay. And okay. the next uh, option up is our maximum output. Yes. Um, that would I would relate that to the amount of weight you have in your trailer. Okay. Okay. You're going to need more brake for a heavier load. Makes sense. Uh, less brake for a lighter load. And if you happen to make a mistake and you got a light load and you got more brake on it, you will flat side tires on the trailer. <laughs> definitely. Yep. So last but not least is our full manual. Why or who is going to use that full manual? This, this is going to give you the ability, as in the traditional brake control boxes, um, to control your brake system by hand. Okay. Okay, you can do sensitivity um, the whole nine yards by hand. All right, so now onto the installation very briefly. Brian, on a scale of one to 10, how, how far do you think this would be for the average DIYer, but also how long do you think it's going to take them? Okay, I, I, I would give myself an hour okay. um, because there are a little bit of remove the dash panel. Sure. I'll plug a few wires in. Um, and rated it about a five on a one okay. to 10. Okay, um, you need to know which wires to plug in, right. which, which connectors. Fair enough. And I will say this may be a little bit easier for you if you wanna go with the adhesive option. Again, you're not getting that very seamless look like this is that this could be capable of with that drill application, but it would make the install a little bit easier. But if you wanna go with that full drill, beautiful seamless install, we would say five out of 10, but I do think you can do this on your own. All right, guys, let's say wrap on the Kurt Spectrum Brake Controller. Brian, thank you again for coming today. Thank you, sir. It's been a pleasure. Now, guys at home, if you want any more details about the product, check the description below the video. We'll have everything for you there, as well as a part number to the adapter we mentioned before, and even a dealer locator so you can find these products at a dealer near you. If you liked the video, leave us a like. If you love the video, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications anytime we release a new video. Thanks again for tuning in. This has been a Performance Corner in the Garage.